Hello friends. So let's begin in the sketch on part two. But before proceeding, just note down the dimension of this part. If you will click on the face of this part, and if you have your instant 3D tool active, then you will see that uh, then the solutions will show you different dimensions which you have set in part one. For example, the diameter of this hole is 50 mm here, and the length of this arc here. And this arc is 400 mm and uh, you can so also see the width of the part so here it's showing that the width is 8 mm so note it down and then let's begin our let's sketch our new part go to file menu click on new select part click ok go to your right plane go normal to it click sketch click sketch now you have entered into the sketch window so I will grab my circle tool, click here and click here and I will set it, uh, I will set its diameter to uh, a little bigger than 50 mm. So I will set it to 60 mm. And now I will press escape to drop the tool. Now we will go to the features tab, I will click extrude boss base and uh, I will give it uh, a depth of is quite enough. And uh, one more thing, you and you will see here uh, reverse direction button. But this button does is it actually reverses the direction of extrusion. So you saw that. And if you want to extrude in both direction, then check this direction to button here, and then give it some weight in this direction also. And it will give it will extrude your sketch in this direction also so, but i don't need this so i will uncheck it and i will click correct so now i am actually my sketch now i need to sketch on this face of the part so i will click on this face click sketch now as you can see the yz plane yz axis I have shifted on this plane so now i can actually sketch on this plane click on this plane press x to normal to it then select your circle tool click here and then click here and i will grab my smart dimension click here and i will set its diameter to 50 mm i press escape to drop the tool go to features extrude boss base and i will set its width to 8 mm So half of the work is done. Now you need to draw a similar thing on this direct on the in this on this face also. So one way to do so is select your face, select this face and sketch on this surface also. But it's a long process. In this case, we will take advantage of the symmetry of the part. So we will use the mirror command to boost our process. Click on the mirror command in the features under the features tab here and in the mirror face plane select this face in the features to mirror select this click here click on, on this uh, extruded part and click on this one also so now as you can see the preview preview also so i will click on the ok and now I have my full component ready within just a second, within a second also, within a second. And if you proceed by that way, it might take you a long time. So now I have my part two also ready. So let's begin and complete our assembly. See you in third video.